Hello guys and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Last episode we managed to retrieve the rest of our crew from Kerbin's orbit, so let's do something ambitious this episode, shall we? We are literally drowning in cash right now and the only thing which is holding me back is the amount of science points we have, so let's do something no Kerbal has ever done before. Let's try landing on Minmus. And you know what? Let's also try assembling a rover on Minmus. So finally, Rogan and Wildas are going on another adventure. After those 180 days they spent stranded in space, just orbiting. So this Mark 1 lander can, of course, manufactured by Jebediah Kerman's Junkyard and Spacecraft Parts Company, because who else would manufacture spacecraft components, is designed for lightweight non-atmospheric landers, perfect for what I'm about to do. There you go, it's, it's, it's a bit bulky. Oh, this is not very aerodynamic, is it? Alright, you know what, let's just try this out. Sure, it's not like it's going to hurt us that badly. You know what? No, first let's try building the rover. So a rover definitely needs a battery bank and also photovoltaic panels. Great, I can place it on top of it. That's not centered, I hate that. There you go, that's much better. And what about the wheels? Yeah, these ones are actually used for creating rovers. Uh, I think I'll need a longer rover. There you go, a modular girder segment is, is too big. Okay, let's try something else. Okay, it would appear I can't use anything else, so let's just use the modular girder segment, the absolute unit. Great, oh, it's actually not that bad. Huh, maybe this will work out great. So, come on, come on, again with this shit. I have to endure this even though I'm not creating jets. Come on, what, what's wrong with the wheels? This, there, er, yeah, there we go, great. So like this, this should work, right? Traction control, brakes, it has, okay, it has a motor, great, that's exactly what I need, wheels, which actually can turn by themselves. And antenna goes up here, okay, maybe not, it's covering the panel, maybe I'll just place it like this, there we go, big brain time. And the experiment part just go over here, on the sides. Great, that's our rover done. Right? Should technically work. Technically. Let's just try it out, shall we? Nothing can go wrong, it's just a rover. So here you are, little guy. Can you go forward? You can. Okay, okay, that acceleration is pretty crap. Uh, can you turn? Oh, oh, you can. Oh, is that our rover actually done? Is that... Is this all you need to create a rover? Just four wheels, a battery bag, probotomodine octo, a modular girder segment, antenna, experiments, a photovoltaic panels, how much electricity- Oh my god, this eats electricity like crazy. But I guess this is actually everything we need to take with us to create a rover on Minmus. That is good to hear. So recover this vessel and let's create the actual rocket. So, can I actually save this thing? If I save it, can I just build it on Minmus using this saving mechanic? Maybe I can. Yeah, let's just save it. There we go, the Moon Cruiser Mark 1. Save it, thank you very much. And then into the trash it goes. And look at that, these actually have built-in ladders for me to easily climb the ladders to get to the command pod. That's actually convenient. Can my Kerbals get back inside? I... I don't know. I would like it to be the case, but I have absolutely no idea. They do have thick-ass heads, after all. So, Rogan, can your fat ass get out of the rocket? Okay, he can, but that might only be because he was sitting in the command pod, so... Climb out. Uh, no, okay, okay, J just fall down. Yeah, there you go. We are clumsy today a bit. Yeah, yeah, we are. So, can you climb back up? Is this okay? Up? He's going up? Is going up. Great, this is working! His head fits the crevice! Great, uh, yeah, and inside you go, be to board and recover the vessel. Great, so each Kerbal should be able to get out. And we actually have to grab the service bay with us. 1.25 meters. Okay, it's this size. Wait, what? I can... Why can I place them in these fuel tanks? What? That doesn't make any sense. Aren't they intersecting? They... They, they should be intersecting. This doesn't feel safe. Why can I do this? Isn't this just going to explode? Uh, uh, yeah, there is absolutely no empty space in the service bay. Why would I do this? Yeah, you know what? Let's just place them up here. This feels much, much safer. A small nose cone. Uh, too small. Okay. Oh, and can I actually use a small nose cone over here? 
There you go, I actually can, great. Can't forget to place a heat shield here, although is it going to protect the entire lander can? I kinda highly doubt that. Uh, it, it's not that big, I mean the edges are going to get just burned off. Does it have to be octagonal in shape? Really? Small. S small. Don't I have a small decoupler? I I don't I don't have a small decoupler. What about the But that's a stack separator! The TSO6 is a utility for slicing a rocket into two halves, but in a more compact size. Oh, the manual says the explosive content is just enough to eject anything attached to the unit in a safe, controlled manner. The delivery guy did have a full bomb suit on though, so try not to drop it. Okay, I'll try my best, thank you. There you go, it's just for the nose cone. It shouldn't spontaneously explode on its own, hopefully. And also, can't forget to retract the lander struts. Yes, yeah, start retract it. Why would I ever want you to start extend it? Why? Why is that the default? This one, right? Yeah, the big one. It Does it even have fuel inside? No, it doesn't. It's just big. Oh my god, can't you have stuffed something inside? Something important like, I don't know, cargo space so I don't have to hold these service bays with me? I don't even know if I can stuff everything in the service base. Let, let's just check real quick. Wait. Wait, what? Uh, where is the cargo space? What, what? Oh, come on. These aren't storage areas. These are just parts which are supposed to protect things placed inside of them. <laughs> come on. I want storage areas. Okay, well, first of all, you, shoo. Thank you. Second of all, cargo. There we go. I, I only have this SEQ3 cargo storage unit. I don't have anything better. I have a conformal storage unit. This only has volume limit of 60 liters. This has 180 liters. Is a rover around 180 liters? I guess we're about to find out. There we go. Now let's try stuffing a rover in there. So first of all, the biggest part of them all, a modular girder segment. Packed volume, 475 liters. No! Why? Okay, I guess I'm using the service base anyway. Let's just stuff all the parts inside of there. So, can I place the modular girder segment inside? I should be able to. It's not that thick. Or or is it? Oh my god, don't I have something smaller? I, I don't think I have anything smaller than this. Oh god, where am I going to put this thing? Why does it have to be so big? Well, I can at least put the probotomidine octo in there. What's the packed volume? 180 liters! Oh my god, good that I decided to use... Yeah, one. That, that's 180 liters. <laughs> good that I decided to use the service base. Yeah, close these doors, thank you. So what am I going to do? Do I have something... something better? I do have the structural fuselage, but that thing is huge. No, there is no way I'm bringing that. Adapters... This is big, everything is big. I know these are rocket parts, but why do I have rover wheels if I can't build a rover? You have to give me something. I guess I could use the radial decoupler as like a, just a steel board. <laughs> Maybe. I guess that's my desperation plan right there. Tail connectors, that huge. Elevons, yeah, elevons are kind of like metal boards as well. Why can't I just buy a metal board? I have a modular girder segment research, but I don't have a metal board researched. Are my scientists that stupid? Radiator, oh, radiator panel? Maybe. That is a, that, that's too big, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, that's huge. What about this one? Okay, no, what about this one? Oh, yeah, this one is small. Technically, Starshot crew cabins. Oh my god, I don't have anything with which I can connect the rear wheels to my rover. Like, like nothing. Wait, or maybe I do. The rechargeable battery bank, right? Okay, 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 let's just save this ship and let's go back to the rover. There we go, Minmus Conqueror Mark 1 and let me get back to my rover. So, can I just use this part? Come on. Come, come on, don't be that guy. What if I just slap this battery bank over here on 
the edge. No. Why not? Come on. You like torturing me, don't you? Okay, let's try these then. The radiator panels. There you go. Can I slip some? Oh. Oh, it actually can. Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that... That's a... Mm, yeah, there's something wrong with this rover, but theoretically, yeah, I can do that. And what about the small nose cone, huh? Yeah, the small nose cone. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. It, it is clipping through that probotobodine octo, but if I just... Wait, 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 wait. Rotate it like this. There you go. There you go. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> this is just wonderful. Where are the wheels? Why am I putting the wheels away? There we go. There we go. This looks much, much better, although it still looks quite wrong. It is better, and I can certainly fit it somewhere. Okay, we can do this. We can do this easily. Something small, compact. The monopropellant tank, perhaps. There you go. Yeah, place this over here. Now place the wheels on it. Oh, there we go. Now that's not very stable. And I think Minmus is quite mountainous. So yeah, this is not a good rover for Minmus in the slightest. Okay, okay, we can do this. There has to be something I can use. Something, whatever. I don't care if it's a rocket part. I don't care if it's a plane part. I can use something. Engines swept. Oh. All right, the wing connectors. Although they, oh, okay, maybe not this one. Maybe not this one as well. Okay, no, not not this. Oh no, no, this is all wrong. Structural wing type. Uh, no, <laughs> C stands for completely unacceptable for rover building. You know what? Let's try the radial decoupler. I did say the radial decoupler is basically a metal board. Oh, well, there you go. There you go, good radial decoupler, yeah, there you go. Do you like this? Well, uh, I can put wheels on it, that is a plus, but it, it looks retarded, yeah, yeah, that's not good. I guess there is still the hydraulic detachment manifold, I can try using that, yeah, that thing is big, it's absolutely huge, and it's technically a giant metal board, exactly what I need. Is there like electricity, cross feet? Crossfit toggles in editor and flight. Hell, I'm not flying this thing, buddy. <laughs> this is for a rover. All right, so grab this thing, place it on the bottom right here. Then place the wheels on the side somehow like this. Is it? Oh, no, no, come on. Can't you straighten those? I know you can. There are some... Good engineers over here, just, just straight on those wheels, you can do it, come on. So, uh, crooked wheels here, crooked wheels there, and that's our crooked ass rover. Great. Yeah, it kind of looks like a rover, and I think this wide manifold is actually going to contribute to the stability of it. Although, yeah, this doesn't look structurally <laughs> stable. All right, this goes here, this goes there, and let's see if this thing can actually move. So, moment of truth. Can you go forward? You can. You can also go backwards. Yeah, you can. Now, can you steer? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, you can steer. Oh, wonderful. Oh, oh my god. And you're not falling over. Oh, you're not, you're actually not falling over. Okay, now you're falling over. But uh, are you going to get back on two wheels? Onto the wheels? No? No? Okay, I have to be careful then. Or do I? Huh. First of all, let's just move these experiment parts to the front and back. And now let's add something which might actually help us tip the rover over. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this thing. This thing, but, but symmetry, please. And collapse them. Thank you very much. Yeah, let's try this. This might actually work. So let's just say I got careless. Oopsie daisy. Oh, it fell over. Oh no, too bad. So sad. Come on. Oh, not like that. No, I, I won't be able to tip it back onto the wheels. Maybe... Oh no, oh <laughs> no, okay, okay, maybe not like this. Okay, let's try adding one more micro landing strut, like this, yeah, 
it's not really blocking those uh, solar panels. Hopefully, hopefully not. Start retracted. Let's try this out. All right, look at this. This actually looks like a technically advanced probe, although it contains parts which should have nothing to do with the rovers. Let's see if this can actually work. Okay, 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 okay. Now let's try tipping this. Come on, come on, almost. No, 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 almost, almost. That almost worked. Extend, extend, come on, come on. Yes, yes, it worked, it worked, yeah. Big brain, big brain, it actually worked. Retract it, retract it. Okay, I'm keeping this here, but what about this top one? I still have to test out this top one. Come on, little rover, please fall onto your top. Uh, no, I, I didn't say do a flip. Okay, okay, that's better. That's that. Okay, I guess I can't fall over like this. Can you please help me with this predicament? Maybe. There is a reaction wheel inside of the Probotomdine Octo, but come on. Okay, okay, this is... Yeah, this is not working. If I fall over like this, that's basically my probe gone. Okay, let's grab this thermometer, place it over here. Also, let's grab this barometer, place it over here. Now I can add the micro landing struts here. There we go. Oh yeah, I am starting to like how this is looking. <laughs> All right, how about now? I believe you should be able to tip yourself over pretty No, my... <laughs> My wheels, though. <laughs> yeah, I hope there aren't such high cliffs on Minmus. I'll go slower this time. There you go. There you. I was also using the hydraulic manifold. That that was keeping my rover together. Yeah, fall, 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 fall! You sack of shit! Come on, fall! There you go. There you go. And. Yeah, yeah, good, good, you fell over just how I want it. Extend, come on, extend, extend. I should be able to move my rover now. I, 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 I should, technically. Come on, Arthur, the wheels are touching the ground. You can't fool me, I have eyes. All right, more landing struts it is. Can I like tilt them somehow? Uh, I, I can if I place them over here. Yeah, that could theoretically work. Yeah, look at this sweet loophole. Let's just place these struts like this. Stay like this, stay like this. Wonderful, wonderful. Extend, yes, yes, yes. Oh, 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 oh almost, <laughs> almost. Okay, okay, maybe not. Extend this one. Yeah, now, <laughs> now our rover is standing like this. That is not good. Maybe if I add a reaction wheel. Yeah, maybe actually if I add a reaction wheel, that would help me a bit more than these <laughs> landing struts trying to tip me over. Yeah, let's actually try the reaction wheel. All right, is this going to be better? Oh, okay, okay, all right. It's definitely trying to tip the rover over. It's strong enough, I guess. But now for the... Main test. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Just how I wanted it. Oh my god. Oh my god. The, the reaction wheel is... <laughs> yeah. Okay, I should have been using the reaction wheel all this time. Look at that. Th this rover this rover is wonderful. But I can't forget to turn it off most of the time. Great. So inline reaction wheel was actually the answer. Goodbye landing struts. This is my rover now. Save it. So I have to take all of these parts with me. Yeah, I should be able to stuff them inside of the rocket and on the rocket as well. So, back to the Minmus Conquer Mark 1. So there we go, this should be it. I know you probably can't see what the rocket is made out of, but I'll tell you. In the bottom stage, we first have the skipper liquid fuel engine to get us out of the atmosphere. Then when we burn through all of the skipper's fuel, we have the poodle liquid fuel engine somewhere around here. I think you can see it, it's, it's hidden over here. That should get us enough fuel to get get us to Minmus, hopefully even land us on Minmus. And then to get us back, I have these four Terial liquid fuel engines right here. They are attached to the coupler, so I can just remove them once I re-enter Kerbin's atmosphere. Now when I'm talking about re-entry, I should definitely add some parachutes to this thing, as always. This one, the radial mount parachute, I guess I can... I, I can stuff it inside of here, right? This... <laughs> this... is this going to work? Oh. 
Oh, it actually probably is going to work. That That is great, I like that. The hydraulic detachment manifold is here, outside of the rocket, which I don't really like, but I don't have a better place to place it on. And then finally, I stuffed all the things I need for a rover in here, in this service bay. And also, you might have already noticed the Probodobodyne Octo stuffed in the other service bay. And also, I need wheels, don't I? Yeah, wheels, can I? Can I place them in snowpacked volume 125 liters? Oh god. Okay, I guess I'm in a serious need of two more service bays. So, Rove Max Model S2 wheels. Can I please fit them inside? Oh, I, I, I can. Okay, this is, this is great. But can I fit two of them inside? I hope so. There we go. Is this fine? Is this fine with you? They are not clipped inside one another they they don't appear to be no and i can definitely close these doors there you go everything stayed inside all right so the wheels are inside of the service bay so i guess everything is set we have the wheels we have the rover crab along with the experiment devices we also have yeah two more wheels we have these things i just realized the goo canister and science junior and also the experiment storage unit oh experiments pay out so much more if i just bring them back so this goes here and this goes up here oh great so we have parachutes we have experiments we have the experiment box we have everything we need to create the rover the staging sequence appears to be all set as well and now let's place all our beloved people inside of the cans yeah rogan and wildas are definitely coming with me bourbon and barlor already had the privilege to go to the moon so these guys are going to minmus and duken as well have you been to the moon no you haven't great and also you're an engineer you have to have orange base suit there you go now you have been customized that you can so that should be everything set should emphasis on the should because i'm not sure i i am actually not sure let's just put it onto the launch pad and hope so guys are you ready two of you haven't been on a new adventure for quite some time now z sas and go up there you go great and the rocket is accelerating pretty well let's start doing the gravity turn come on no 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 ballistic no ballistic no 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 <laughs> gravity turn no ballistic no <laughs> okay okay well i i guess it's okay oh yeah we're going to see if it's okay soon enough there you go what a nice flare you have become now goodbye what happened no no you're supposed to be connected to the decouplers why no you mm -hmm. really really this is what went wrong here look decouplers you are supposed to be connected to the decouplers capiche yeah now, now you appear to be connected to the decouplers all of you yeah there you go all of you are connected to them now oh jesus christ that had to be the thing that went wrong just go shoo onto the launch pad with you oh and i forgot the eva experiment kids nope no that was 100 science points last time sas z up there you go and moment of truth is it finally working it is great there we go come on into the orbit you go thank you very much i should get rid of the nose cones because they are heavy heavy as nose cones can't i just activate this stage prematurely really do i have to do it one by one no that, that's dangerous i can i can do it like this there you go and they are uh, no 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 shoo shoo i don't like you i don't like you i i, I said uh, what was that oh my god <laughs> deadly debris <laughs> that was deadly debris let's just let's just spin there you go there you go that worked are we still going the correct way please stop spinning where are we okay okay that is a pretty sweet turn if i do say so myself oh and rogan is here yeah please move this thing to prograde direction thank you i don't have to do it manually which is great wait what happened what what happened why did you just stop oh was it yeah why are you following me stalker bitch 
Okay, well, as long as there is no atmosphere, we can spin as much as we want. There we go, stable orbit, wonderful. Now from here, we can just try getting to Minimus. I'm all out of electric charge. Great, I should have known that would happen. Well, fortunately, I think I grabbed some solar panels, some extra solar panels. I can't really see shit what's up here, but there should be solar panels in one of these service bays. Come on, is it in no wheels? So they should be in here. But come on, I can't see anything. There we go, a can, uh, Duke, there you go, EVA. Could you please grab that, that, oh, solar panel. Where, where are they, come on. Here's the solar panel. Can you, can you grab it? Oh, you can, great. And place it like here? Is it getting sunlight? Is it, hopefully it is. Yeah, let's just place all the solar panels here. Okay, there's a thermometer, not that one. Just, just put it back, please. Although I can't see where back is. <laughs> like, okay, okay, let, let's just place it here for now. I'll remove it later. Okay, are we getting some electric charge now? Oh, we are. Great. Problem solved with EVA construction. Thank you, Duke. And yeah, that's a smile of a man who just did a great thing. So now that this problem is solved, let's keep trying those maneuver nodes. There we go. There we go. I made it. Finally. Jesus Christ, I've been messing with those maneuver nodes for quite some time now. So this is it? Yeah, Minmus Encounter, finally! <laughs> At least I got the Minmus Encounter. Jesus Christ, that took so bloody long. To be honest, this is still not good enough, like, like at all. This is not good enough. No, I, I'm going to be wasting so much goddamn fuel. Come on. No, just let me modify this one! No! Stop! Stop it! What? N there you go! Come on! No, no, no. Mm. Can I get rid of all of this text? Somehow. Stop. Stop. I don't want... I don't want anything like... Oh, Carbon Info. A unique world. Carbon has flat plains, soaring mountains and wide blue oceans. Home to the Kerbals. It has just the right conditions to support a vast, seemingly undepletable population of the eager green creatures. Reaching a stable orbit around Kerbin is one of the first things budding space programs strive for. It is said that those who can get their ship into orbit are halfway to anywhere. That is true, but I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes trying to correct my trajectory to just get into Minmus's orbit. This is getting ridiculous. Stop it! Stop it! I had enough! I had enough! Okay, screw this. First, we need to get our orbit to have the same inclination as the Minmus's orbit, because this is getting so ridiculous. I can't seem to get my rocket with the maneuver nodes to start orbiting around Minmus, because it's always, oh, it's below it. It's, well, technically, it was always below it. it I, I can't get it to even pass above it. It's always below it, and I can't seem to correct that trajectory with the maneuver nodes. So can I, like, compare these two orbits? How do I... How do I compare these two? Because this orbit is so bloody small, I can't see it if I zoom out. Like this? Is this... Is this okay? Is this as it is supposed to be? I don't know, because there's so much shit on screen, I can't see which is which. I just now realized, I think the Propodobinary Octo in here is active. It, you, you are not supposed to be active. Where are you? Where? Okay, that's not you. What about... Oh, you're here. You're hiding. There we go. Where is hibernation? Oh, there we go. Finally, we're getting more electric charge. Jesus Christ, how am I supposed to do this crap? I can't seem to align the orbits because I can't see both of these orbits well. Do I have to upgrade my tracking station again to be able to, like, see how I have to adjust my orbit for them to be aligned? That's stupid! That's literally stupid! I've been doing this for how long? 25 minutes trying to use the maneuver nose to get to the stupid ass Minmus? No, oh, come on! There has to be a quicker way! Goddamn, Minmus is so goddamn fast. Would it just help if I increased and circularized my orbit 
just a bit. Let me try this out, maybe then I'll be able to catch up to it and I'll also be able to align the orbits much easier. There we go, a higher orbit, only 300 delta V in this engine remaining and let me spend another 15 minutes trying to encounter Minmus. Yeah, I don't think I'm still able to get to Minmus. That thing is too bloody fast. I need to get even to a higher orbit. But I don't have enough Delta V left. I have 300 here, 2300 here. Oh my god, great. No, no, I need to make a rocket with even more fuel. That's the only way, basically. So that's all the time I have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. We'll have to leave the Minmus landing for next time. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please like, comment, or subscribe. Every little bit helps my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!